Hi there, I'm Josep Deloyo from Lynx Editions. First of all, I hope that everyone is doing well in this difficult time. Like all of you, I'm sad that we are not able to meet up all together in the beautiful Radland waters and enjoy the bird fair, as many of us have been doing for over 30 years. But I think this has been a good decision, given the circumstances, and I'm grateful that the bird fair team has organized this virtual encounter. This global pandemic has put many restrictions on all of us and because of this many people cannot travel for work or pleasure in relation to birds, for bird watching, avian research, etc. and may be currently stuck in one place. But not being able to travel doesn't mean we cannot enjoy birds, not only locally but the world's birds as well. We are lucky to have many online resources that connect us with birds and birders across the globe, like this very platform of the Virtual Bird Fair. And we also have one of the original forms of travel, books. And today I'm happy to present to you a book that I think could be very special for many people, perhaps even more during this globally challenging moment. For the first time ever, you can contemplate all the birds of the world together in a single, easy-to-use volume with high-quality illustrations and updated distribution maps for all the bird species of the world. All of them, including both living and extinct birds, the book covers a total of 11,524 species. We think this book is also special because with it we hope to reach many more people than any other book about the birds of the world. For this, it is essential that we can offer it at an affordable price, and we have achieved this thanks to the investments we had already made in our previous projects related to all the birds of the world. This means that the current book represents not only the two years of hard work that went into it, but also the important foundation of many more years and work that went into its predecessors. Lynx Editions was founded to produce the first work to treat and illustrate all the birds, the Handbook of the Birds of the World, HBW, in 17 volumes. And this was followed by an important update with focus on taxonomy, published in two volumes with BirdLife International, with Nigel Collar as co-author, the HBW and BirdLife International Illustrated Checklist of the Birds of the World. So I guess we've kind of progressed backwards. Instead of starting with a simple idea and building on it, we started with the most detailed coverage with HBW, then focus on taxonomy with the checklist, and now we have reached the peak with all the birds in a single volume with much less technical detail, which will make it attractive to many more people. And as I mentioned, the current book can be offered at a fraction of the price of one of the other volumes. In fact, I'm convinced that this book, with all what that it contains, which I will explain in a moment, offers the best value for money in all the history of bird book publishing. This talk about money may make it seem like this is a commercial, which it's not. The reason why the comparably low price of this book is so important to us is that we hope, because of this, all the birds of the world can arrive to and inspire many more interested people all over the world. This idea has stimulated us a lot because we are convinced that the existence of bird enthusiasts is crucial for conservation. And while we hope the book is interesting to many of you who may be beginning birders, more general naturalists and the like, we also can imagine more seasoned birders and even expert ornithologists finding a place on their bookshelf for this work. Even if you own all the volumes of HPW and the checklist, there are some novelties in this book that we have included with you in mind. The first is that the book presents a species-by-species species comparison of the taxonomic treatment of the four major world checklists that classify all the birds of the world. Those by HPW and BirdLife, Ebert Clements, the IOC and Howard and Moore. 
We think that these straightforward visual comparisons will interest many keen on taxonomic matters and we also hope it will serve as a tool to advance processes currently in motion to try to reconcile the different taxonomies towards one unified list. This unification would have important benefits for everyone needing a solid bird list, not just ornithologists and bird watchers, but also governments, wildlife managers, ecologists, conservationists, and many more. Another novelty of this book is the incorporation of the QR codes for all the 11,000 plus living species covered in the book. So while you are enjoying browsing through the book, you can also easily take out your mobile phone, which we all have on hand nowadays, and immediately access online resources at the Cornell Lab of Ornithology, both thanks to their eBird and Macaulay Library projects. You can view photos and videos and listen to sounds of the species in question in just a click. And often there are hundreds of audiovisual records for a single species. The Macaulay Library recently incorporated the Internet Bird Collection, another Lynx project, making it by far the biggest and most complete collection of wildlife audiovisual material online. As of today, the collection includes close to 20 million photos, 800,000 audio recordings and 200,000 videos, covering well over 10,000 species of birds. We think that incorporating these QR codes makes the book a bit of a hybrid, since we take advantage of new technology and the power of internet, while maintaining the book in its traditional format, which is refreshing in many ways in this age when most scientific content is digital. You can still sit down in your favorite chair and spend many enjoyable hours exploring page after page of bee-eaters, herons, woodpeckers, tanagers, kingfishers, birds of paradise, hummingbirds, whatever. In a way, you can only do with a book. You can pick any family of birds and admire and compare side by side all their members living across the entire world. And for old-fashioned birders like me, there are even very discreet checkboxes to be able to tick your species right in the book if you want. Really, if there is one type of book that is still worthwhile to have in physical printed format, it is one like all the birds of the world. The book itself is very visual, so presenting it is as simple as showing you some highlights in its pages. Of its 968 pages, 801 are filled with the individual species entries. The book presents every taxon accepted as a species by any of the four major world lists, which is how we arrive to the total of 11,524 species covered. They are presented with almost 21,000 illustrations covering sexual dimorphism, morphs and many distinctive subspecies, and more than 11,500 distribution maps with nodes on altitudinal ranges. In the maps, all one-country endemic species, 3,315, are clearly marked. Every species has its English and scientific name listed, as well as alternative names were helpful, including all of those used by eBird, given the importance of that project and the large and growing number of its participants, close to 600,000 today. Each species entry also has the official IUCN BirdLife International conservation status and a taxonomic circle visually summarizing its treatment by the four major wall lists. Also, as I already mentioned, there is a QR code for instant access to audiovisual material species by species. In addition to a detailed introduction explaining how to use the book and also offering an overview of the world checklist whose data have been included, there are also five appendixes to the book with information that we feel many readers will find interesting. These include an appendix of the over 160 species known to have become extinct since the year 1500, 
another explaining selected cases of differences in nomenclature across the world lease, and a 37-page world atlas of color reference maps with relevant details of interest to birders and ornithologists. I hope that this short presentation has given you a clear idea of what we have tried to do with this new project. Personally, when my interest in birds was just starting out, there was a book that was key in developing my current passion for birds. It would be great if this book could serve the same purpose for others who may be starting to explore the spectacular diversity of birds and that with more people discovering birds, there will be more people trying to conserve them. Birds are present in all habitats, including the most arid deserts and the least known areas of the oceans. They are also undeniably attractive, and perhaps most importantly of all, they are easy to observe. So the concern for protecting birds is not confined to the avian world, as these species compel us to want to learn about and conserve the entirety of biodiversity the birds, their habitats, and the other wildlife around them. Put simply, working towards the conservation of birds means working towards the conservation of nature and the planet. Thank you for your attention, take care of yourselves and happy birding, even if only from your armchair with a good book.